Hi, this is Project Zomboid, and I thought I'd make a list of base locations. They are not in any particular order, and you might already know some of these places, but there might be one that you haven't heard of so far. So without further ado, here is my list of base locations for Project Zomboid. So we'll start with this base location. It's on the edge of Muldra. So this building is more located in the north northeast of Muldra. So let's get down to the gritty, shall we? Here are the pros and cons of this place. The pros. So it has a pre-built defense. So all you need to do is just block up the entrance and it's fully secure. It's also very close to a town. Well, it's literally on the edge of one. So there'll be plenty of loot for you loot goblins out there. It also has a low to medium zombie population as this is on the edge of a town. So you probably will have to deal with some of the locals. It is also very close to a forest. So that means you'll have plenty of wood to keep your defenses up. Now let's move on to the cons. It's very small, so there isn't very much room to have a mega base here, but it will do very nicely for a starter base. It also only has one building with no upstairs, so be careful bringing those hordes home with you. The road outside could also be blocked. Sometimes broken cars may spawn on the road outside. This can easily be sorted by just towing the cars out of the way, but it can be a nuisance at the beginning. So I think I'll rate this a medium survivability base. It's a good one for starter bases or outposts, but it ain't great for the long term. So let's move on to the next base location. So the next base location is a few houses that are located just outside West Point. This is quite a popular location for a long term base, so you might recognize this one. So let's go over the pros and cons. The pros. This base, like the last base, also has a pre-built defense. All you would need to do is secure the front. But don't forget, there is also a breakable gate in the back garden. This location has a very low zombie population. So you might have a few zombies inside the buildings to clear, but you should be pretty safe from zombies at this location. This area is very close to a forest, so it will be very easy to get your defenses up here. The house here is a two-story building, so you will be able to secure the second floor with a sledgehammer by sledgehammering the stairs. Now, the cons. This location is quite far from a town, so transport will be vital here. It also has a very small building area. If you stay inside the metal fence, the area is quite small, but you're more than welcome to expand. So to round it up, this location is a strong location for any player at any stage. So I give this a good survivability rating. It doesn't have too many cons, so this is always a safe bet. So for the next location, this location is a mechanics garage. It's located just southwest of West Point, just on the outskirts on the road towards Louisville. Personally, I like this one and have used this a few times. So let's go over the pros and cons. The pros. The first pro for this location is that it's next to a town. This is quite a key location as it's on the road towards Louisville. So for the next pro, this is a large building area. It has a large building and plenty of space around to expand. As this location is just on the outskirts of a town, there is a low to medium zombie population here. So there will be a high chance that you will have to clear some of the locals out so there won't be an issue anymore. And last but not least, this location is also next to a forest, so getting this place secure won't be too difficult. So let's talk about the cons now. Unlike the previous locations, there is no pre-built defenses here, so you will have to build the exterior walls from scratch. This location does have an upstairs, but it's a very small upstairs area, so if you did need to retreat up there, there isn't very much room up there. Also, the roads outside might be blocked, there is a high chance that wrecked vehicles will spawn on the road outside. But like the last location, this is easily solved by just towing the vehicles out of the way. So this base is in a great location, but you will have to put in the work to make it great. So given all of that, I will give this a medium survivability rating, as this one will require some work to get it great. So moving on to the next location. This location is a house on the northwestern side of the outskirts of Louisville. There are many choices of houses that you can choose from on this street, but I like this one because it has a little dock at the end of the garden. So let's go over the pros and cons. The pros. This location has pre-built defenses. Like the other locations, you will have to secure the front, but also don't forget the back fence doesn't go all the way back, so you will have to finish this also. The building at this location is a two-story building, so you will be able to fully secure the upstairs. This location is also right next to a town. Well, it's literally on the doorstep of Louisville, so there'll be plenty of loot here. 
and this location also has a large building area to expand onto. It's ideal for the outpost or a semi-permanent base. So let's move on to the cons. The major con to this location is the medium to high zombie population. Here you are right next to Louisville, so zombies will be a constant threat here. There is a higher possibility that the roads will be blocked here, and wrecked vehicles will be a lot harder to move due to the higher zombie population. And this location is not close to a forest, so wood will be quite scarce here, so be mindful of this when building. So my end thoughts of this location is it's good for the mid to end game or outposts for Louisville. So with all that in mind, I'll rate this a low survivability due to the higher zombie population and no forests nearby. It'll be a lot harder to keep up the defenses here, which could lead to you getting overran. So swiftly moving on to the next location. This location is a hunting lodge located in between West Point and Louisville. One of the small mentions of this place is there is a weapon and ammo spawn here, so you may end up with a nice weapon too. So, moving on to the pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. This location has a low to medium zombie population, as this building is near some residential, but once you clear the area, it shouldn't be too difficult to manage. The building here is a large building, so there is enough room for an outpost or a medium sized base here. Also, this location is right next to the forest, so getting those defenses up shouldn't be too difficult. This location is also close to a town. It's also close to the mall too. It is in a key location as it has a lot in its proximity. Now, moving on to the cons. This location has no pre-built defenses, so you will have to do this to be secure. It also only has one story, so you will have to make sure your defenses are good if you want to survive here. Although it's quite close to places, you will still need a vehicle as the places are quite far to walk. So like some of the other locations, this one is good for a mid or late game base or outposts. So I think I'll rate this location a medium survivability due to the lower zombie population and how close everything is to it. I think this will make a nice cabin in the woods. Let's move on to the next location. This location is an abandoned factory on the far northwestern side of the map. The building itself is in ruins, so it's not the nicest looking place. But after some TLC, this place can look great. So let's go over the pros and cons. Starting with the pros. This location has a low zombie population, as this is far away from everything. The only locals you should have to deal with here are the ones inside the buildings. The building here has multiple stories, so you'll be able to fully secure this place by sledgehammering the stairs. The building here is also a large building, so this is perfect for a mid to large size base. This location is also close to a forest, so materials will be plentiful here. So let's move on to the cons. The main con for this place is it's far from anything as it's in the corner of the map, so there isn't very much close by. This location also has no pre-built defences, so again, you will need to build these here. The building here is mostly empty, so there is no storage or facilities, so you will need to build these here. This location is a perfect location for a main base, but will require a lot of work to fix up. So with all this in consideration, I will rate this as a good survivability location as it has a large building with low zombie population. The only issue is the distance to anything, so you will require a vehicle. So for the next base location, this location is the country club that is located southwest of Riverside. This is definitely one of the most nicest looking locations in my opinion. I mean, it even has a swimming pool, so you can't really go wrong here. So with that in mind, let's go over the pros and cons. And as always, let's start with the pros. So as this location is out in the sticks, this means there'll be a low zombie population here. This doesn't mean there won't be any zombies inside the building, so make sure you're careful when you're clearing the area. This location also has a very large building area, so you can expand here until your heart's content. The building at this location is also a two-story building, so this is very easy to secure. And it's also right next to a forest, so you won't be running out of wood anytime soon here. Now moving on to the cons, as this location is quite far from a town, a vehicle is essential here. It has some pre-built defences here, but the fence does not go all the way round. So to make sure that you're safe, make sure you finish this. The route is difficult to get to this location. There will be some blocked roads on the way, so keep this in mind when traversing here. So, this is a great location for a mega base. There is plenty of everything that you need here. Just make sure that you have a nice collection of cars too. 
So let's rate this base location. I give it a good survivability, as this base has everything you need to survive for a long time. The next location is the prison that is located west of Rosewood. This location is definitely going to be a hard one to clear, but it also has an armory here, so you might be lucky and find some weapons. So let's go over the pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. As this location is a prison, it will have pre-built defences all the way around, except from the front entrance, so you will have to do this part yourself. The prison also has multiple floors, so you will be able to fully secure this. As this is a prison, it is also a very large building, so you will have plenty of space for a mega base here. And also, it is right next to a town, so if there are items that you don't have, you might be able to find them there. Now, let's go over the cons. Starting with the main con for this place, it is the medium to high zombie population. So be careful clearing this area, as there are loads of zombies here. To fully explore the prison, you will need the key to open all the locked doors. There is also a low amount of resources here, so you will have to go elsewhere to get the loot that you need. There is also narrow corridors here, so make sure that you are careful with your corners. This base location is a nostalgic one for anyone who's watched The Walking Dead. Now you can recreate this yourself. So let's rate the prison. I give it a low survivability due to the amount of zombies here. You're going to need to be semi-geared to attempt to clear this place. So let's move on to the last location, the mall. This is located in Louisville, but it's to the south of it. This is definitely going to be the hardest challenge here, but it will be the most rewarding. I mean, it is a mall at the end of the day. So let's go over the pros and cons for the mall. Let's start with the pros. As this is a mall, there will be a high amount of resources here, so I'm sure whatever you need, you will find it here. This mall is also multiple stories, so it is possible to fully secure, but it won't be easy. And of course, a mall is a very large building, so you will be able to build a mega base here. It's also not far from a forest. There is a forest just south of the mall. This will make securing this place a little bit easier. Now let's move on to the cons. The main con for this place is the high zombie population. This will be a challenge to clear as there'll be tons of zombies here. And as it's a mall, there is no pre-built defenses here. So you will have to do this all yourself. There are also a lot of entrances here. So keeping this place secure will be difficult. I couldn't leave the mall off this list. There is nothing better than a mall full of zombies. Thanks Dead Rising. So I think I'll rate the mall as a low survivability due to the high zombie population and the fact that it's inside Louisville. This will also be a hard one to survive in. So make sure that you are ready before you try and clear them all. So that's my list of base locations in Project Zomboid. I hope there's one out there that you would like to try. And if there's any base locations that you use and wasn't on this list, please let me know in the comments below. So anyway, thanks for watching and happy building.